Welcome back to Crafters Coast to Coast. We're on the road finding real people making really cool crafts. When our next crafter was 16 years old, she decided she wanted to become an artist. So she took a job polishing rings at a jewelry store. It wasn't much of a creative outlet, but it set in motion her desire to design her own jewelry. And now, I bet you'll agree when you'll meet her, she's got this next craft all locked up. Hi, I'm Natasha Wozniak, and I'm here on my roof in Jersey City, New Jersey. I make jewelry in silver and gold, necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and today I'm gonna show you how I make my locket in silver. Look, there's my picture in it. This is my apartment where I live with my husband and he's a painter. We both work in the apartment, so sometimes it gets a little bit crowded, although you can just wake up in the morning and get started working. Well, enough about my apartment. Let's get to the locket. I usually start with a sketch that I can use to guide me as I make the locket. Once you do something to the metal, you can't change it very easily, so I need to make sure that my drawing is really good. And I also have to get the measurements precise so that the, the back and the front fit together really perfectly. Now that I have the finished drawing of the cover and the inside, I've got to cut it out of my sheet of sterling silver. OK, I've got my silver cut, and I'm going to mount it into a substance called pitch, which is going to hold it while I transfer the design. Right now, it's pretty hard, so I have to heat the pitch up gently with my torch. It'll become soft, and the metal will go right in there. It's nice and soft, and I'm just going to put it in there and push it down. Now I'm going to have to wait for this to cool so that the pitch can harden again. So now I'm going to take carbon paper and place it on the silver and then put my drawing on top. So that way I'll be able to make a very precise transfer of my cover design onto the metal. The next thing I'm going to do is use my handmade steel tools that are called liners to hammer into the metal and put permanent lines into the metal where I've transferred my design. I'll remove it from the pitch, and this is the completed design on the front, and the lines show up on the back. I'm going to flip it over, put it back in the pitch, and use some rounded tools to push out the flowers and the leaves. Now I've completed working from the back, and you can see the flowers are filled in and the leaves. Now what I can do is bend some wire and make a frame that goes around the outside. This really has to be symmetrical, so I have to be very careful when I'm bending the wires. It's all attached. And now it's back to my bench pin to saw it out. The front of my locket is really taking shape. And what's left is soldering a bezel on and also a latch on the side that will keep the locket closed. I'm going to set this aside and work on the bottom of the locket. I've got the frame, and now I'm going to put a back on the frame, and I'm going to put this insert in and where the design is going to be. But in order to do that, I need to cut out a notch in the frame so that they can sit flat while I'm soldering them. Now I've got the notch removed, and I can slide the insert right in there. Now it's all soldered together. I'm going to put it back in the pitch because I'm going to continue the flower motif on the inside. OK, now I'm done drawing. I'm going to go back to the chasing tools and put the design in permanently. So now I've got it cut out with the design on the inside, and I've added a couple other things. Jump ring at the top, some balls on the inside that hold the picture, and a little ledge on the side for opening and closing it. Now what I have to do is put them together, and I'm going to attach a hinge. 
I file a little groove in here, and then I cut five pieces of tubing equal length. I'm going to put the hinge pieces on a piece of wire with a little bit of nail polish in between so they don't get stuck together during soldering. I'm going to place those hinge pieces on a wire right in the groove and solder the pieces to the front and the back. Now it opens. All the moving parts are working, and the hinge is nice and tight. The locket is done, and I just need to add the chain, and the necklace will be complete. So I've got my completed jasmine locket in sterling silver with the floral motif on the outside and a garnet. On the inside, I have another motif and a place to put a photo. It happens to be a photo of me. That's a wrap. Wouldn't it be nice to have that? I don't know about you, but when I was a little girl, one of the first pieces of jewelry I wanted was the locket.